Say hello. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about how I am surviving through college. Oh yes. It's what everybody wants to talk about. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can know whenever I upload a video, which is usually like two to two times a week. First of all, college is really difficult and everybody in college would tell you that it is difficult. Like no one will tell you that college is like the easiest thing in the world. It is almost one of the hardest things you have to actually go through. It makes you want to cry, laugh, and pull your hair out at the same time, if that's possible. In order to do well in college, we have to be really dedicated to it because it is not as easy as it is in high school. It's definitely not as easy as it is in high school. I wish it was as easy as it is in high school, but I guess that's how the system works or something. It has to get harder in order for you to actually do something better in your career or whatever. I don't really know. I don't really care. I just want to graduate. A little background on my education in college is that I'm a third year college student and I am studying two majors, speech pathology and audiology and psychology. I have done this to myself, I do not know why, but I have two majors and I'm doing pretty well. Just saying, just doing pretty well. By having two majors, I put a lot of work on my shoulders, but you do not necessarily need to have two majors, girl. Nobody needs to have two majors, honestly. Like, I don't know why I did this to myself. But I thought it was the best option for me. I'd rather have a lot of work on my shoulders rather than just a little bit of work, because if I only have a little bit of work, I'll spend too much time doing, like, YouTube and, like, all that stuff. But if I have more things to do, then I will feel more productive and do more things, even though it's really stressful. It's so stressful. I don't know how I do it. You see, I'd rather have classes five days out of the week or six days out of the week, because that is possible in college, um, than rather have three or two days out of the week, honestly, because it gives me more motivation to actually get up, because sometimes I do not want to get up off of my bed. I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with taking one major because taking one major is probably easier, I swear to God. Taking one major is probably put less strain on your brain and on your body than actually taking two majors. That's what I did and I'm just going to stick through it because I'm almost done. Almost done. We just got to breathe through it. We all got to breathe through it because we're all broke college students over here. There is no financial stuff going on with us like we're all broke i find my field to be very really difficult not as difficult as biomedical engineering or it's something in the medical field but it's like kind of in between it's like more on the difficult side if that makes sense like it's difficult but it's not like so difficult that i'm probably gonna scream my head off by the end of the semester like i said i only have two semesters left and that means i'll be graduating early and here are some tips so that you could be successful in college and survive through college like i am number one know what you want to do i know there's a lot of people who do not know what they want to do when going to college but knowing what you want to do really puts you at like a higher standpoint or like you already know what you want to do, so that's what you focus on and something like that. But it's totally fine if you go into college not knowing what you want to do because therefore you could like experiment with a lot of things and a lot of time and like do everything you wanted to do and then you will find a pathway that you actually like and just proceed towards it. But if you already know what you want to do, get the ball rolling and know and know which classes you want to take and what classes you should take this semester and what classes you should take next semester, like all of it is like almost planned out for you if you actually go into the college knowing what you want to do. But honestly, you don't even have to stick with it. If you go into college thinking that you're going to do one thing and you end up not liking it, just change it because if you do not like what you want to do, college is just going to be horrible for you. College is just going to be miserable for you if you're doing something that you don't want to do. Just know that whatever you are studying towards makes you happy and excited for the career you are trying to like go towards. I don't know what the word is. I don't have words in my, in my system right now. This actually connects to my second point. My second point is start from high school. I think that you should worry about high school like in your second year of high school, your 10th grade year, because that's when like everything starts coming towards you. Like, oh my God, I have to think about college and blah, blah, blah. And that is when you have to start taking things seriously and do things that will help you in college. One thing I did was take college level courses 
that gave me credits towards my college career because you know that we have to have 120 well in the state in the state that I am in you have to have 120 college credits to graduate college if you take some classes before college that means you will have a head start in college and all those credits that you will have will accumulate into I don't know 20 credits or something I don't know. these classes do not necessarily need to be in your major it could be general classes like English math and all of that but it is helpful if they are in your major because then you could actually transfer it to your major then you don't have to worry about those classes in your college career I always have this mindset of um, do things while you're young because when you're older you won't want to do it that was one of the things I was thinking about when doing college level courses in college because as I grow older I do not want to be in college anymore like None of us want to be in college anymore and like by being able to do these courses I was able to actually be on the path of graduating a semester early and I am so excited to be graduating a semester early because then I don't have to be in college for that long. To be honest we just want to get out of college as much as we wanted to get out of high school. In college it's a little more mellow but I still want to get out of college just as much as I wanted to get out of high school. But don't let this scare you ladies and gentlemen because we're doing good here. We're, we're, we're surviving and we're doing good. My third tip is a tip that everybody says and it's to stay organized. Personally, I stay organized from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester. I have folders, notebooks, and binders dedicated to each of my classes and each of them are color coordinated. And that is something that will give me a lot of less anxiety. <laughs> If that makes sense, it truly keeps my mind from blowing up into a million thousand pieces. By organizing everything, including your notes, your folders, your binders, everything, 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 you will have great notes for when you are studying for your exams. Um, number five is friends aren't necessary. You would think that I would think friends are necessary in college, but girlfriends are not necessary in college because they are just a distraction in college and you don't need distraction in college when you are just trying to focus on graduating. I don't know about you, but I would rather do everything on my own in college rather than have people around me in college even though that it's a great like bonding time I just don't need that bonding time right now like no I don't need bonding time you don't need bonding time and if you think friends are something that are necessary go ahead but like I think that there's like a really big distraction and I just don't do it I don't do it I don't do it I know having the right friendships or like relationships with the right people will actually help you further into your career but I believe it's, uh, you could do it on your own. You could literally do it on your own and I think that you don't need anybody's help to be successful. If you want to graduate as soon as possible, you don't want to have friends that um, want to go to parties or like drink or like do whatever college children do. I don't really know what college friends do because you know, one, I don't have them and two, I go to a college that does not have dorms so everybody commutes to school and all of that. I just had bad experience with friends because you may believe that these people are your friends but they just want you for your coursework or like for help on something and I'm like I don't have time to help anybody when I have five to six classes that I have to study for, do homework for, and all of that. After the semester ends you barely see these friends anymore unless you are like really connected and you have really good a really good connection but you don't see these friends anymore because you go different ways in your different class and your different majors blah 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 and i just think that friends aren't necessary because they aren't permanent in college unless you are like a really good friend maker thing but you know i just don't think they're necessary don't think that you have to make friends in college because it is not necessary and lastly my last tip in college is find something that you like to do other than schoolwork i know nobody likes schoolwork but it's something that you actually do if you are doing schoolwork all the time it will actually be a little bit overwhelming because like you, it's a lot of information to take in and a lot of like brain power if you may say college just brings a lot of anxiety to you i'm not going to share a quarter or anything it just it's hard <laughs> it's hard but if you could do something that will take school off your mind for a few hours out of the week then do it because it is so like stress relieving sometimes sometimes you just need to do it just to like stop thinking about it it's just necessary in my personal experience this semester and the few semesters before this i focused on training for a half marathon learning sign language learning the piano learning the ukulele and also doing youtube of course that is all something i would do when i don't want to be um bombarded by all of the work and it's really stress relieving because you know i got five to six classes a semester i do not have 
time to be worrying about school all the time sometimes you just need to relax and like do things that you actually like to do and then continue on doing the schoolwork that you don't really want to do but you will eventually benefit from both sides actually i will benefit by running a half marathon one day i will benefit by learning fluently sign language and learning fluently how to play the piano and the ukulele and you see it's just things that help you improve your own self that's what i think do things that help you like yourself or self love or something like that i don't know i'm not about that savvy things just make sure to focus on yourself and your family just so they won't feel neglected when you are in school so guys that is my video and i hope you guys like this video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos hopefully i'm not scaring you as i'm talking to you about college and how difficult it is but it is such a good experience a year or two or after college from now you will be thinking wow i definitely did that and i definitely survived college and i am happy or i am proud of myself so guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope to see you in my next video bye